Thank you for joining this quick how-to screencast brought to you by Salesforce Support. To see more content like this, hit subscribe. In this screencast, we're going to learn how to use VLOOKUP in Excel to, pre to prepare your CSV file for import. VLOOKUP is a great tool to match Salesforce user IDs to the names of record owners or to match account IDs to account names. In order to import this file of new accounts and have them assigned to the correct salespeople who own them, we'll need to have the user ID of each salesperson in the import file. Currently, we just have their email. So we'll export a list of usernames and IDs using Data Loader. We're going to look up each email that is here in our account import file over here in the export of user information. And when there's a match, we want the corresponding ID to be returned. A few things to know about VLOOKUP before we get started. The matching value must be in the leftmost column of the lookup table. And that column must be sorted in ascending order. In the account file, we have added a column for the user ID. We want to look up the email in this table over here. And when there's a match, we want the function to return the value that's in the fourth column. We'll start in the first cell here, click the Function button, and find VLOOKUP, and click OK. Click into the first field, Lookup Value. This first field is asking what value should I match with the lookup table. We want to match the username, so click that cell, and the cell address is written into the field. Click into the next field, Table Array. This is asking for the location of the lookup table. So we'll highlight the table, and the address for that range of cells is written into the field. Click into the field, Column Index Number. This is the column of information we want returned once the lookup value is matched in the lookup table. We want the fourth column, User ID, to be returned, so we'll type 4. The last field is asking if we want an exact match, which we do, so we'll type in false. Now I can copy this formula down to the other cells and save. It's very important to note that the cell addresses for the table array must be absolute and not relative values. To change from a relative value to absolute, just put a dollar sign before the row letter and the column number. Then. Remember to recopy the formula down the column. You're going to need to match account IDs to contacts and opportunities, and you're going to need to identify the owners of each account, contact, and opportunity by their Salesforce ID. So mastering VLOOKUP is essential. For more information, check out help.salesforce.com or join us on the trail at trailblazer.salesforce.com.